What's up, guys? This is Brad. So as many of you know, I track monthly sales for sports magazines on eBay, on some of the different auction houses. But I got to thinking I've never actually taken a look at what are the highest listed sports magazines that are out there right now on eBay. As we know, anyone can list any item for whatever price that they want on eBay. Just because you ask for a certain price doesn't mean you're going to get that. It certainly doesn't mean that's the value of it. But I uh, thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the most expensive and highest listed sports magazines on eBay. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So first up, we have this 1956 Sports Illustrated. This is Mickey Mantle's first cover. Uh, this is a newsstand copy. This is pretty much considered to be the holy grail in the hobby, and it's a CGC 9.4. I do believe there is at least one 9.6 out there in existence. I don't think there are any 9.8s, so this 9.4, I believe, is tied with at least a couple others uh, to be the second highest graded copy out there. This is listed for $300,000. Um, is that realistic? I mean... Maybe, maybe not. I actually don't think this one's that crazy. Um, like I said, this is the holy grail in the hobby, similar to how the Mickey Mantle 1952 Tops card is kind of considered to be the holy grail in sports cards. Mickey Mantle's first Sports Illustrated cover is seen that way in terms of magazines. A CGC 9.0 sold a couple years ago for, I believe, $27,000. Um, there's never been anything higher than that 9.0, uh, you know, go up for sale and auction. But uh, yeah, this 9.4 is listed for $300,000. Now, in fairness, uh, last I looked, there's only around 60, I believe, graded newsstand copies of this first cover for Mickey Mantle. And, you know, it's not like CGC just started grading magazines. They've been doing that since 2009. So only 60, only around 60 newsstand graded copies. Extremely rare to find a newsstand copy of this issue. And when you compare that to some of the comics, you know, some of the big boy comics, maybe, you know, the first Superman, first Spider-Man, uh, whatever, um, you know, compare some of those pop counts and then look at the sales that some of those are going for. Um, you know, maybe it's not that unrealistic after all to ask for 300,000, um, you know, probably not going to get it immediately, but, uh, maybe someday years down the road, that might be where we're at. All right, check this one out. This one is absolutely incredible. This is the first Sports Illustrated cover for Michael Jordan from 1983. Uh, this is another one of the Holy Grails, definitely a consensus top five as far as most collectible Sports Illustrated issues. First time MJ appeared on the cover, he's in college with North Carolina. He's alongside his teammate Sam Perkins. And this one's been autographed by Michael. Michael's a tough autograph, especially on Sports Illustrated. Him and SI had a very rocky relationship after he uh, left the game of basketball to go play baseball. And so you don't see a ton of Michael Jordan autographs on Sports Illustrated, especially this 1983 issue and also especially on what appears to be a newsstand copy. This one is listed for $125,000. Next up, this one is interesting. This is Sport Magazine from 1956, and this is Larry Doby, Hall of Famer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was the second player to uh, break the color barrier after Jackie Robinson. Uh, definitely a very important player in baseball. But uh, what did I say earlier? Anyone can list anything for any price $100,000 is pretty absurd on this one. Now, it is a CGC 9.8, which is pretty amazing for this being a 1956 copy. But uh, if this one were to go up in auction, I would be surprised if it even hit $10,000. Next up, we got LeBron James. This is his first solo slam cover, and it is another CGC 9.8. Now, CGC 9.8 copies, obviously, they command a major premium uh this one's listed at 100,000 i believe a 9.8 copy of this exact issue sold within the past couple of years for $10,000 so this is another case where the asking price is uh pretty significant but hey once again 
Uh, some people have the strategy of uh, just listing an item on eBay and letting it sit. And uh, maybe one day the market will, will get there. Uh, maybe that's what's happening here. Here's a very unique and very cool one. This is Nintendo Fun Club News. Uh, this, I believe, was pretty much the precursor to Nintendo Power, which was a super popular video game magazine. Uh, this is from 1987. This was the fourth ever issue that they released of Nintendo Fun Club News. And that's, of course, Mike Tyson on the cover. And uh, one of the most beloved video games of all time, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Uh, this is a CGC 9.4 beautiful copy and it is listed for $100,000. Now, this one's not sports, but I thought it was pretty interesting. This is Newsweek Magazine from 2016. This was actually, um, this was printed before the election had been totally decided. And, uh, you know, Newsweek thought that uh, Hillary Clinton was going to win. And so very few of these escaped. Uh, they ended up pulling them off the presses and reprinting them with Donald Trump. But uh, this is one that made it out in the wild, and it's a CGC 7.0. And it's also been signed by Hillary Clinton, authenticated by Beckett. And this one is listed for $79,000. In 1981, it was the first time that Michael Jordan was included on the inside of a Sports Illustrated magazine. We just saw his first cover appearance from 1983, but here you can see from 1981, this was the first time he was included on the interior. The cover is kind of blocked here in that slab, but it's actually a, it's actually a cover of Isaiah Thomas, Hall of Fame point guard. He's cutting down the nets for the Indiana Hoosiers. And on the inside there, um, you can see the back page is where Michael Jordan is listed alongside the 1981 McDonald's All-American team. So this is actually really interesting the way this is slabbed. It looks like you've got the the actual magazine cover there facing the front. And on top of that, they've ripped out a single page uh, introducing the 1981 McDonald's All-American team. Below that, there is a little ripped out notepad sheet with Michael Jordan's autograph, which has been authenticated by Beckett. There's also a little bit of writing there next to it. It says, signed by Michael Jordan, June 21st, 1981, the summer after graduating from Laney High School before joining before joining the North Carolina Tar Heels. So this is actually being claimed to have been signed before Michael even went into college. I'm not sure how they could authenticate that part. And then on the back side of the slab, they, they stuck in the single page that shows his interior mention alongside the All-American team. Very interesting, very unique. Uh, this one's listed for $60,000 on eBay. This is from 1995. This is a program for the Beach Ball Classic, which I believe was a uh, a game, a prestigious game for, you know, up and coming high school basketball stars. And you've got Mike Bibby on the cover, Jermaine O'Neal, a couple future NBA guys. You also got Shaheen Holloway who is, I believe, now the coach of Seton Hall, and he was the head coach for St. Peter's during their uh, miracle, what was it, Elite Eight run a couple of years ago in the NCAA tournament. And, of course, the big photo there is Kobe Bryant on the cover. It says, Kobe Bryant, America's consensus number one player. And on the inside of this magazine, there's actually a bunch of autographs of uh, many of the players that played in this game. And it includes an autograph of Kobe Bryant on the inside, which has been authenticated by JSA. And this one sold on eBay, or excuse me, this one is listed on eBay for $50,000. Here's a cool one from 1955. This is Rocky Marciano, his first and I believe only Sports Illustrated cover appearance. And it's a CGC 9.8, pretty incredible for a magazine from 1955. He's one of the most legendary boxers of all time, and this one is listed for just south of $40,000. Here we have a copy of Time Magazine from 1953. This was the first time that Mickey Mantle appeared on the cover of Time Magazine. And this one's been autographed by Mickey Mantle, authenticated by JSA. It is raw and ungraded. It appears to be a newsstand, and it is listed for $30,000.
This one is pretty unique. I have never seen it before. This is from 2015, and uh, Gigantes de Basketball, Giants of Basketball is the translation if my uh, Spanish is on point. And that's Luka Doncic, and this is actually a magazine. I know it's going, uh, what is that, landscape or portrait? I don't know. It's going the opposite direction of what most magazine covers go, but you can see that little photo on the right uh, this is actually a, a normal magazine that opens up and you can see that interior page all about Luka Doncic. And uh, this may possibly be the first time Luka was on the cover of a Sports Illustrated, uh, I'm sorry, of, of any magazine. Uh, very interesting. So 2015 and this one is listed for $25,000. From 1985, this one is pretty cool. Basketball Forecast Magazine not a magazine you see very often, but I think what makes this one pretty neat is that it is the image from Michael Jordan's Fleer rookie card. That is the exact same image that was used on that iconic sports card. And uh, this one's been autographed by Michael Jordan, authenticated by PSA, and is listed on eBay for $25,000. This is another cool one that I had not seen before. This is from 2005. It is the official Los Angeles Lakers yearbook. You got a pretty sweet photo there of Kobe Bryant throwing it down, still in his number eight jersey. It's been autographed by Kobe, and this one is listed for $20,000. Here's another non-sport magazine that I thought was still pretty cool. This is Al Capone on the cover of Time Magazine, uh, and it even says in quotations, Scarface, Alfonso Scarface Capone. This is from 1930. It's a CGC 6.5 newsstand copy, and it is listed for $19,990. Here's another Time Magazine. This time it is Willie Mays, Rest in Peace. It's from 1954, and it's a beautiful CGC 9.0 copy. This one's listed on eBay for $19,750. Here's a modern Sports Illustrated copy. This is from 2008, and it's LeBron James. This is a CGC 9.6. It's listed for $15,000. At first glance, that seems pretty crazy, and it still may be a little steep, but this is probably the most difficult newsstand Sports Illustrated cover to find of LeBron James, and the reasoning behind that is that this is a one of six variant cover. There were six different covers released that week. The others were Kobe Bryant, Elton Brand, Kevin Durant, Dwight Howard, and Kevin Garnett, and uh, so there's just not very many of these out there. I believe this is the highest graded copy of this particular LeBron James cover in a newsstand, and it is listed for $15,000 on eBay. And last up, another non-sports magazine, but uh, just once again, thought it was pretty cool. We're going Time Magazine again, and this time we're going back to 1929. We've got Albert Einstein, and it's a, a pretty strong grade for 1929. It's a CGC 7.0. This one is listed on eBay for $14,114. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe. I also appreciate likes and comments. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.